My name is Alex Van Zale and I'm a second year master's student in landscape architecture. Why I wanted to come to Wageningen is because my bachelor degree was quite conceptual and the Wageningen approach is analytical and research based. My name is Jeroen Marseille. Uh, I'm a student at the Masters of Landscape Architecture and Spatial Planning and my specialization is spatial planning. I chose this master because it really focuses on the landscape and how the landscape works and how we can use this landscape uh, to create a better world of tomorrow. It's a two years master's program where you can, can specialize either in spatial planning or landscape architecture. Spatial planners um, deal with spatial problems um, and it's very important for planners to understand what happens in space and in landscape in order to design the, the proper policy interventions and bringing those two together is an essential part of our master's program. In this master's program we learn to plan and design for the landscapes of tomorrow. We learn to express these plans in great visualizations, communication and presentation, and we learn the skills to do this. We develop our um, design presentation and our communication skills, but because it's also research-oriented, we learn how to develop a research proposal, we learn how to work in groups, and we gain um, familiarity with consultancy, training, and then we have classes in which we actually get a chance to apply those. We think critically about how the world works today for planning and design. And we also really critical about the role in society. What is the role of the planner and of the designer in the city of tomorrow? Wageningen is known for its regional approach to design, but there is an equal level of importance applied to the site design scale and at across all scales developing a strong narrative. When they arrive here, and uh, often that is a group which is half international, half Dutch, we start with a, a design studio uh, park design. Later in the year, in the first year, we uh, have a similar uh, approach, but then on the regional scale. The Wageningen curriculum is very uh, focused and proud on the systemic approach in which all the parameters of the life science, water, soil, climate, uh, history uh, are relevant. Of course, master students uh, are trained to also deliver uh, an ethical uh, approach on very complex issues. In the specialization of spatial planning, you learn how to analyze the different problems in the spatial world. We learn to understand the process of decision making, and we learn how to make a plan to make all of this work in one. They are familiar with the inherent uh, ethical but also uh, political and social constructivist notions of the planning decisions they prepare and they are aware of the effects their planning interventions have on space. My experience of the first year in the master program is that you can choose really your own path. You can choose to focus on something like climate change. Um, I did it myself with courses on climate adaptive design in which we learn how to plan and design for the cities of tomorrow who are not ready for this climate change. In the second year of the master, students are dedicated to work towards their master thesis at one place, at the other place they are, um, they are doing an internship. At the end of the second year, students make their thesis proposal and they take a very individual uh, subject which they explore. Within the specialization, my focus was water management. What was so nice was that um, these additional courses, it felt like they directly applied to the internship that I chose. And then the same applies to my thesis. It feels like it's a continuation of that focus. Wageningen still has the DNA of the, the Polytechnical University. They are interested in uh, cultural uh, and historic values and they, they bring these together. And that is unique on, the, on our uh, school. The uh, graduates end up in different uh, uh, work environments, which reads from more traditional planning sphere, which would working in the municipality or governmental body, but also more in uh, consultancy works, uh, landscape architecture uh, offices, up to NGOs and, uh, well, also in academia, by the way. When I finish this master's program, I want to focus on infrastructure and mobility uh, in the Netherlands. I'd like to gain experience working in the private sector, but I'd also 
like to maintain my ties with the university.